all quiet for the speech from the great dictator. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Muslim, black, white, refugee, migrant. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise anyone. In this world, there's room for everyone and the good earth is rich and can provide for everybody. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. But we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned man's soul, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into bloodshed and misery. We developed speed but shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance now leaves us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the internet have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in people, cries out for universal brotherhood and sisterhood, for the unity of us all. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the internet have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in people, cries out for universal brotherhood and sisterhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent lives. To those people I say, do not despair. The misery that is upon us is but the passing of greed and the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die and the power they took from the people shall return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. People, don't give yourselves to brutes Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine hearts and machine minds. You're not machines, you're not cattle, you're human. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hates, the unloved and the unnatural. People, don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress leads to everyone's happiness. People, in the name of democracy, let us all unite. Shalom, salam, peace.
I came nicely to what ask you, you what is happening here. What's happening here is we're making a film about the speech from the great dictator, Charlie Chaplin. This, this, um, yeah, I know Charlie Chaplin. I've seen this movie. There's a little, you, you know the film. Yeah, I've seen this it's movie. It's just a speech. And we're actually getting to the end of the speech. We're not going to be here all day. We're just going to, I'm actually halfway through the speech. Well, the thing is, I keep forgetting the lines. So, because it's a lot of words to remember, you know? But I'm, we're getting there. I've been here for a while and my voice is going. That's why I'm drinking fluids. So I'm, I don't want to disrespect you. I know, I know there's a pile of love about that. It's just we wanted the big fellow in the background. And, you know, I've always imagined doing the speech underneath Ch Churchill, Charlie under Churchill. You know what I mean? We use the method. I'll give you a few minutes to run up then. Is that all right? Yeah, I'll give you a few minutes to run up. Thank you. Oh, shit. Stop it. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, I know things have changed. I know, I know the laws. I've been told the bylaws before. And it's, it's fair enough. I don't agree with them. Because of, this is Parliament. And yeah, there's yeah. no other place to do this democratically. You know, like, within earshot of Parliament. And this is a Churchill. He fought for liberty. You know, it sort of rep represents kind of liberty. And freedom of speech. And all that kind of stuff. Yeah. In fact, I've got a, a sign which I'm going to use next, which is free speech. Because back in the day, I got arrested holding this sign. I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> I could tell that. <laughs> anyway, I'll give you a few minutes oh, okay, to run down. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be... Prime Minister. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Muslim, black, white, refugee, migrant. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate or despise anyone. In this world, there's room for everyone and the good earth is rich and can provide for everybody. The way of life can be free and beautiful. But we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned man's soul, has barricaded the world with hate has goose-stepped us into bloodshed and misery. We've developed speed, but shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance now leaves us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the internet have brought us close together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness of people, cries out for universal brotherhood and sisterhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions of people throughout the world, people who are living in despair, to those people I say, do not despair. The misery that is upon us is but the passing of greed and the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die and the power they took from the people shall return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. People, don't give yourselves the brutes, men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You're not machines, you're not cattle, you're human.
You have the love of humanity in your heart. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate. The unloved and the unnatural. People, don't fight for slavery. Fight for liberty. Because you, the people, have the power. The power to create machines. The power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful. To make this life a wonderful adventure. So, in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world that gives people the chance to work, that gives youth a future and old age security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise and they never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress leads to everyone's happiness. People, in the name of democracy, let us all unite. Shalom, salam, peace. Tips. Uh, well, um, yeah, if you, yeah, if, you, if you're feeling kind, but a box box would be nice, though. If you can explain, because you, you're the only person who stopped to listen, yeah. properly listen. Yeah, you know I mean, I've listened to this speech several times um, online, and um, it's very motivational. You know, coming from yeah. really, any, you know, any place in my life where I need a little kick in the butt, you know, right. gives me perspective. I really like the speech. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, that you listening was because it's a difficult gig here because people are on the way to the cathedral or they've seen a million things. So no one was listening. You're the only one who's listened. So yeah. You. yeah, you're a great Probably. man. Yeah, you memorize that whole thing too. That's amazing. Oh, I had to drill it, eh? Mm -hmm. Really, I, over time, I did it in the shower. I did it four times a day. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's very impressive. Thank oh, you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening. Thanks, guys.